fellow gem hunters welcome to another episode of bible time with here coin verse guys you know what to do go ahead and smash that like button also share this video with a friend subscribe to the channel if you haven't already then lastly click that notification bell that way you stay up to date to the latest videos so guys we've been hinting at uh what's been going on in the market in the last couple of videos talking about some of the things that happened with uh you know cz and sam baby freed and and a lot of things that was just going on um that was just a lot of collateral uh, collateralized debt on the market um, so today I have to go into this topic a little bit just because it's uh, a lot of the things that have already came out. We've seen the market's reaction. Uh, it's been a horrible market. Um, and, and today we get a little bit of recovery. But uh, let's let's put this in uh, retrospect and see if we can dive into it a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen like I normally do. And I just want to start with the headline. Like if you go over to just a search and you type in uh, Sam Bankman Free, who is Sam Bankman Free? You know, to see CEOs who. CEO who lost billions in crypto, uh, you know, just look at the headlines, guys. So like when you're, you're seeing these headlines like this, um, you, you know, anytime your name is associated with anything like that, it's going to be a lot of bad press. Um, when you jump over to Twitter, uh, you, you see some really quick uh, SEC launches investigation into FTX, CEO uh, Sam Bankman Free. Uh, we'll see how far this goes. We know that some of the code writers uh, do get locked up in these scenarios, um, but um, we want to go over to what CZ had said about this. He said, it's two big uh, lessons in this. You never use your token you created as collateral. Don't borrow if you run a crypto business. Don't use capital uh, inefficiently or don't use capital efficiently. Have a large reserve. All right. So basically saying, make sure you're being more than efficient with the money. Make sure that you understand that you're running a business and it's going to be high risk uh, and don't take on a uh, type of debt. So he goes on to say, Binance has never used BNB for collateral and we have never taken on debt. Stay safe as fuck. So uh, CZ with big powerful tweet there. We see got 98,000 likes on that, 19,000 retweets on that. Um, and then, you know, it was a, a, a uh, uh, rumors out that you know possibly uh, Binance was well, not really rumors. They came out and talked about pur purchasing FTX uh, uh, in the event that they were going to be liquidated. And you know they went on and confirmed here. Uh, I pulled up the tweet here uh, as a result of uh, corporate due diligence as well as the latest crypto reports regarding mishandling customer funds and alleged U.S. agency investigations. We have decided that we will know will not pursue the potential acquisition of FTX. So uh, we've seen the market's reaction from this yesterday. We've seen a lot of tokens uh, go down uh, 20, 40%, some of the main uh, altcoins. Uh, we also seen Bitcoin pull back about seven to 10%, as well as Ethereum about 20% yesterday. And um, I just wanna look at some of those numbers and, and, and look at some of the things that happen in this in, in this environment. Um, the, the funny thing is, you know, when you have these major capitulations right here, uh, the thing that it kind of symbols to me is that, hey, look, you can obviously get some great deals at the bottoms especially if you're in the, uh you're looking into um you know some of the blue chip nfts and you can get them in at a low price you know i've seen solana um nfts yesterday i've seen uh, uh the youths yesterday uh around 50 uh 40 50 ETH, and then you know today it's back at 66 plus the uh, volume of uh solana's up as well so um it's just one of those things that you gotta watch you know if you can pick up something uh, at the bottom and sell it at the top it doesn't matter where it is in the market it's still gonna be a churn of profit right so um, always keep an eye on that. We've seen the theory we just kind of like get up here and then we're just, we're just kind of sitting around at 1600 mark and then just like got completely thrown out of bed yesterday. I mean, this thing got really thrown out of the window while it was still in bed. <laughs> and and we've seen the lows come down to around 1082 and then you got to bounce back up right here and you're getting uh, off the old support. You're getting a little bit of resistance. Uh, we're going to see if this thing can really uh, power through it over the next couple of days and, and kind of get its place back up on here. Uh, another one that we wanted to look at it's Solana because you know Solana has a lot of venture capital backing from um from um you know uh from from VCs and 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 a lot of it's uh, associated with uh, they have big positions in FTX as well so to see uh FTX you know go in solvent uh just kind of you know put things in retrospect um we've seen Solana you know kind of play around uh up here and flirt around in this in this uh way i mean in this channel over here and then eventually you know with the news yesterday it got thrown straight out of the window as well uh came down seeing a low of around uh 12 dollars somewhere in that area uh i think if it doesn't flip this 18 dollar uh you know resistance or the old support i think if you're gonna have some problems we'll probably go down to about six bucks on solana um but definitely super oversold uh try to make a comeback today even with it being up 40 percent today i think it went up around 36 to 40 percent i think that you can still see here uh that is still completely oversold on, on uh, one day um and then uh even if we went back into a four hour 
and we looked at this, I think, you know, you're still going to see it's still a little bit oversold and it could it potentially work its way back up. But I think it's one of those things you got to pay attention to in these markets. Uh, you can see another move like this over here uh, and, you know, just you know, always be cognizant with everything and, and never feel like you missed out. All right. So if you're not buying the the, the first pitch, of, uh, if you're not buying that first dip on capitulation, I think it's just better to stay sideline, right? Like, and, and not financial advice already, uh, always, but, you know, just, you know, just when you're thinking about the market and looking at things. Another one of those things that kind of uh, scared me today was that we seen FTX, uh, the FTT token move the, uh, I'm sorry, the FTX token, the FTT. Sorry about that. Um, but we've seen it kind of move today. And, and you know, I, I'm not a fan of, uh, you know, I, I guess it's everybody short. Somebody's got to go long, right? And you can make money on both sides of the trade. Um, but it's just one of those things, you know, like it had a little bit of uh, a little bit of a movement today. Uh, and, and, and the funny thing about this is to me is that I think that market cap is still around $300 million. If I'm wrong, you guys can correct me in the comments. Um, but if it's down that uh, low, I mean, if it still has liquidity on there, have we seen the rest of the, have we seen the final capitulation? That's going to be a good question to ask over the next coming weeks. Um, I don't know how much relief we see in the market. Uh, I do think there is a great time to be um, playing around with NFTs and that is not financial advice. This is just me uh, vibing, telling you like, how degenerate I am and how much I love uh, NFTs. Uh, you know, things on Magic Eden, if we wanted to look at use, we could go over here and look at that real quick. Um, and I know the tubes are around um, 80, 90 right now, but let's just see what the use are. So 69, 69, how you like that? <laughs> so 69, 69 on the floor. Um, and, and you know, like I said, some of these were at 50, 40 yesterday, the last two days. So could have definitely uh, got you a quick three, two, three X on so Solana plus the uh, market value going from 12 to uh, uh, 17. Uh, so that would have been a good flip if people were playing that play. Uh, another one that I'm looking at, um, It's a lot of things on here. Um, let's look at Nihilings. We haven't looked at those in a while. So, so still holding a 0.06 floor. Uh, so that's pretty good in the market right now. 13% listed. So that's uh, that's going down. So uh, anybody who's been looking to get in this one, I think it's another great time to get in. Uh, you know, still floor relatively low. I think best offer 5.2, uh, 0.0524. Uh, you could either get it off OpenSea, but if you could, uh, if you wanted to play around, I think you could probably go to another marketplace and find it around that same, uh, wrap beef offers that's there. Um, definitely some cool stuff out here. I mean, these things, uh, with Ethereum down, I, I would imagine what they're a hundred bucks, maybe 80 bucks. Like, I mean, if you guys are looking for quality projects, good communities, uh, I mean, like, you know, just a good time to be searching around. We, we talk about all these projects all the time. It's good to go back and revisit some of them, see how they're doing. Um, but yeah, these are, one of, these are some of the things I wanted to bring to you guys' attention today. Talk a little bit about the market. Uh, didn't really feel like telling you guys about a gym, but I will be bringing you some gyms next week. Uh, some lot of great projects coming out next week. A lot of people will definitely push their projects back because of the news and because of, of everything that was just going on in the market. And I think that was a smart business choice as well. But uh, again, guys, appreciate all the time that you guys spend with us over here at Coinverse. So make sure you leave a like, comment down below, show your boy some love. And until next time, bye it out.